Hi, this is Jim Munson. We're here at Encore Packaging, and today we are taking a look at how to use a windlass-style tensioner to secure woven polyester strap with a wire buckle. So the first step is going to be threading your strap through your wire buckle. So I've got my three-quarter inch buckle right here, and one of the first things that you're going to want to be sure of is when you're holding your buckle, that it is facing this direction, so to your right. And one of the ways you can remember that is by seeing it like a C here, C-shaped like the letter. So we're gonna take our strap, and then it can be a little tricky at first knowing how to thread this. So first I'm gonna show you this way, up through the middle, and then down, back around this other side. And then you can just grab it and pull it. And then what a lot of people do once they get used to it is they take it as the loop and just thread that loop up through the middle and then slide it around like that. As you can see, that was, that was a, little bit, a little bit faster. So then you're gonna pull a little bit of the tension out. Take your uh, 1160 style here tool Squeeze the handle to raise the gripper foot. That bottom strap is gonna go underneath the gripper foot. And then the top strap is gonna go through the cutter housing here, and then through the windlass. And once it's through both of that, those guys, you can start tensioning. Once you've got it all the way tensioned and that buckle has started to collapse down on that strap there, you can squeeze down on your handle and pull it clean from the strap. So again, this has been securing woven polyester strapping using a wire buckle and the EP1160 windlass style tensioner made right here at Encore Packaging in the USA. Thank you.